one. All right, almost nobody does what we just did, where they capture just the registry and examine it. Um, normally what you do is you capture the whole hard drive for an examination. And that's fine, it's just that those are big. So I made this an extra credit project in case your machines um, don't pick it up. No, you should, I should be back. I hit the wrong button. All right, so here we're going to use a real disk image. And I'm just using one of the um, famous online images. I hope you people can see me. It looks like it's OK from here. I just make sure you can see me. OK, good. Right, I'm back. Yeah. Good. All right, so the, um, you download the evidence file here, and it's 5 gigabytes of evidence in a zipped form. So this is from a nist.gov archive of images for forensic treating. We're going to get these three images. It's a data leakage case, 7Z001, 002, and 003. So you download all three of these. The first two are 2 gigabytes, and the next one is 1 gigabyte. Then you unzip them with 7-zip, and it'll turn into a 20 gigabyte image. And after you've got that, then you can verify the hash of it to make sure it's intact. And then create a new case and import that to autopsy, a disk image. <coughs> and uh, so it'll take a while to process it. And it will take a while to analyze it. And this is where it's real useful to turn off all the modules except the first one, which will make this processing a lot faster. So it will take less than forever. But it does mean you have to have at least 25 gigs free on your hard drive. So anyway, then you'll find it's very automatic. When you're done, now you can just go here into Data Artifacts. And right here, it finds all the useful things. You don't need to go hunting through the registry to find them. It finds web bookmarks and shell bags, which record what windows have been opened and what programs have been run. This is the prefetch folder, the recycle bin, recent documents. All sorts of good stuff is just right there. And all it's doing is it's getting the registry keys and processing them for you and laying it right out. So here you see, if you go to Installed Programs, it just shows you all the installed programs and when they were installed. It's, so this is really nice. And this is why people like suites like Autopsy. You don't really have to worry too much about the technical details of the data. You just It lays it right out, and all you have to do is get practice hunting through here to find things. So this one's worth extra credit, and there's a bunch of things to find here. Find the most recently installed program. Find the most recently accessed document. Um, which find which program was run 59 times, and so on. Oh, you want to take a disk image, the standard is the same tool we just used, FTK Imager. You can do it that way. The only reason I didn't give it to you in the projects is because you need a separate device to put it on, and if you people are using virtual machines and even machines in the cloud, that's not too easy. But if you look at the previous project here, this FTK Imager is the standard for everything. This program here can obtain system files. You can also obtain the hard disk. You can also get all of RAM. You can do everything with FTK Imager, this free program. There are plenty of alternatives, like Belkasoft Imager is good too, but this, this is the standard we've all been using for decades. However, you need a hardware write blocker you know, to do it right, to avoid not modifying the image. That's why um, you can only do some of it. Yes, everything should be recorded. So anyway, that's an extra credit one for you to do. It'll be require a more powerful machine, but it's actually much easier because you can use the software for its full advantage. All right, I'm going to stop this one.